Test, test, test. One, two, three, eight, five, seven, six, five, one, nine. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very special guest with me. My husband, Tyler. You guys have seen him before, but I don't think I've ever officially introduced him, so that's who this is. Today is actually a very special day because it is Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, even though it's not Christmas when you're gonna be watching this, but whatever. With it being Christmas, it means it's our last day to do like all those fun Christmas activities, which we have not done a lot of just because we suck at life. But we are changing that today. Today's video, we are going to be building the one, the only gingerbread house. Yay! Yay. I thought it was upside down for first, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've only done this once in my entire life, and it was with him. I've only done it once in my entire life. Really? Mm. Well, that's probably not good, because we had a competition with his sister and her boy. We had a competition with her. <laughs> <laughs> it was in a competition, and we lost. So. This one says it's really easy. <laughs> what age? What's the age? E to Z. E to Z? That's not an age. <laughs> While we build this, we'll be diving into some juicy topics. Let's just dive right into it, shall we? Interesting. Oh, transition. <laughs> oh, sure. Where's the gingy bread? Why is there so much air? All right, let's see what we got here. Ouchie, I stabbed myself. Wow. The real question is, do we try and make it like this or do we do something totally different? Something totally different. Okay. What if I break this when I open it? Do we need the scissors? We probably need the scissors. I really don't even know how to do this. <laughs> I'm eating some Welch's fruit snacks because I don't want to eat all the candy that we have. They're so good. Let's answer some questions. Okay, first question. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just using my finger. What was your favorite Christmas tradition growing up? Going to my grandpa and grandma's house on Christmas Eve. And doing what? Eating meatballs. I don't know how this is gonna stay. That's why you gotta glue it up there. If I call this glue one more time, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my marbles. What was your favorite Christmas tradition growing up? You're saying it like <laughs> I haven't already asked. Just ask it like, what was your favorite Christmas tradition? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. You said, what was your favorite Christmas tradition growing up? Let's just be like, what was your favorite Christmas? What was your favorite Christmas? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was your favorite Christmas tradition? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you. My family and I always celebrated on Christmas Eve. And we would go to, we really wouldn't do anything like during the day. But then we would go to church at night and it would be like a candlelight service. So it was like super pretty and I loved it. We'd go home and we'd all open presents and eat whatever the heck we wanted. We each like got to pick our own food that we wanted there. And so it was just like a combination of everything. You know what I don't like about Christmas? No. I hate opening presents in front of people. And if I never had to do that ever, I w that would make me happy. Okay, this is gozing. 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 We should have a counter for how many times I must say anything. Make a new word. <laughs> I don't think that's even. Oh no. You gotta move it up a little bit. The stability on here is not a whole lot. You would not want this house if you were gonna be in a storm. Is this what it feels like to be a whatever you call it, a builder? Who's the people a who cake put decorator? <laughs> no, it reminds me of like when you put that like stuff around your bathroom sink the stuff that the we can't say aloud what is it yeah well, let's not say that see this is why we should have built it on here how are we gonna flip it up yeah now what do we do okay you go like this oh no okay uh, this isn't gonna work you gotta push it a little bit oh no okay my side was doing fine i hate this this is stupid that's a good frosting I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I have frosting, whenever I have frosting, it just makes me feel like I have a sore throat. No, just yeah, me. Just you. Question number two. Do you have a question? No. Think of it. What 
is your favorite color of frosting for Christmas? Do you know what I think? No. I think that... I don't know. So you're not thinking? Not really. What I think is holidays and life and everything in this world is so romanticized, whether in movies or social media or whatever, that when it's actually time to do stuff or like celebrate, nobody really has a good time because it's just like, it's not like it in the movies, like a gingerbread house. Is it fun? No, not really. Okay, rude. <laughs> Why is this window smaller than this window? And this window is the same size as this window. That does really make me mad. <laughs> you know what'll make you feel better? A fruit and yogurt Welch's fruit snack. Mine, yours, wait. Yours, mine. My question is, if you had to pick out a last meal, you have to pick an appetizer, an entree, a dessert and a drink, what would it be? It has to be a drink other than water. Appetizer? A big pretzel. From where? Applebee's. What are you eating? Hmm? What are you eating? Nothing. What are you eating? Open up. What is that? Classic? Spit it out. Spit it out. I don't want to hold it, but spit it out. Spit it out. Ew. Okay, a big, <laughs> big pretzel from Applebee's. Big pretzel. A big pretzel from Applebee's. <laughs> a steak quesadilla. From anywhere besides Taco Bell. What do I like for dessert? Cold Stone? No. Probably a big freezy. Blue flavored. Yum! <laughs> Drink would be lemonade. From where? I feel like people are specific about their lemonade. No. Lemonade. From where? Country time. Country time. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. So my favorite thing about Tyler. One of my favorite funny things about Tyler is that he doesn't like regular meals. Like, I swear he will eat an appetizer as a meal. Like a steak quesadilla, that could be an appetizer. Yeah, but it could also be a meal. Yes, but I just think it's funny. Because usually at a restaurant, quesadillas are on their appetizers. Ooh, your hair is really soft. Spit the plastic out. <laughs> what would your meal Ew. be? Throw it away. What would your meal no, be? No, put it what away. What would your meal be? Put it behind you because otherwise you put it back in your mouth. What would your meal be? What would my meal be? Yeah, what would your meal be? I'm sick of saying meal be because I don't know what it means. Mel it's mel sounds like Mel B. Mel B. That's pretty cool. No. Oh, that's kind of cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> I even try to do that. My last meal would be my appetizer. What are appetizers? French fries. Ooh, French fries from Tom's. Rude. My entree would probably be a chicken sandwich, a crispy chicken sandwich from Cheddar's. My dessert would have to be, I would say ice cream from Baskin Robbins. And my drink would probably be an ice turtle mocha from Caribou. White girl status. Yum. <laughs> Yum. Okay, let's put this roof on. Last time we made a gingerbread house, it took literally like three hours. Raise the roof. The ceiling is the roof. Oh no, it's kind of sliding. You have to hold it. Uh-oh. Where'd all my frosting go? Where did all your frosting go? <laughs> oh no, it's kind of sliding. You have to hold it. Uh-oh. <laughs> did it fall off? I think you stole it. I think I did too. Why is your roof so far <laughs> down? It's gonna get cold in here. This is just like gapped right here. Why do I feel like this is sliding? What keeps sliding? Why is the roof so far down over there? I think it'd be more fun if they just didn't have you build it and they just had it together already. But then they probably get sued all the time for it being broken. I'm sure they have those. Well, why didn't we get that one? Should we each decorate a side or should we decorate together? A side. Can I eat my man? <laughs> if you want to. 
Ow. Hmm, kind of good. Not really, though. Need some frosting. Let's talk about us. Tyler. Well, I'm gonna wait till you come back. So sad. Now we're my gingerbread house, or my gingerbread man's gonna be living here alone. Okay, so a little background story on Tyler and I. Tyler and I <laughs> met in high school. Wait, time out. Did you do that? Yes. Who else would have done that? I thought it just ended up there. Tyler and I have a history. A long, long history. No, I'm just kidding. Tyler and I were sophomores in high school and we had a lot of mutual friends. However, Tyler and I didn't really know each other. Until... Until? What? It's until. Until? <laughs> we went to homecoming together. I bet the world is eager to know. What in the world made you ask me? What in the world made you ask me to homecoming? I said, let's try something new. Wow, the flattery. <laughs> the flattery? <laughs> For real, is that what you thought? No, I figured since we had the same friends, we'd be pretty similar. So I felt like we would get along pretty well. Did you have any intentions of us, like, being any more than friends? Or... No. Well, I also didn't really know you. Rude. Did you think I was pretty? Yeah. Did you actually? <laughs> yes. Did you know me in high school? <laughs> so to sum up the story, you basically thought we could be friends. And so you asked me homecoming? No, I thought we would get along very well. From there, so Tyler and I went to homecoming together and we had a really awesome time and then we kept hanging out. We talked all the time and I let him into my life and he was like the first person I ever talked to about anything mental health related. Like he was the only one my entire life who knew anything about my mental health until I got to like college. I made him wait like a year to date me. I was just like, I was a different person in high school. I was just like super Oops. closed off. And so I didn't let him in and I wouldn't date him until I was like almost into my junior year. And then we dated and then I broke his heart and then I got into a toxic relationship. But we always stayed in contact and like he was the only person I really still trusted about anything mental health related. And then eventually we reconnected after I got out of that relationship, we just never stopped hanging out and then we started dating and now three years later, we're stuck. We're stuck with each other for life. So that's how Tyler and I came to be. Okay, Tyler, let's get into some juicier questions, shall we? What's your favorite thing about me? Doesn't have to be your favorite thing. <laughs> what's something? So what's the question? Okay, what's your one of your favorite things about me? There's so many, I can't choose just one. <laughs> Why did that sound so, so, ca so sarcastic, though? Whoa, that looks cool. Thanks. One of my favorite things. We could use those for those. Did you eat one of these? No. Gummy, gummy, gumdrop. I'm just waiting for you to answer. One of my favorite things that you like going to sporting events with me. I, I just feel like it's just one of those things where it's like, it's not your entire life, but it's enough of your life where if someone doesn't like sports, mm -hmm. well, if you like sports, well, then what are you doing? All right. It's we'll your... have to see whose roof is better. I'm going to say mine. Why? Because I saw yours, and it, although it is absolutely beautiful, mine is symmetrical. I think mine's cooler. Okay, Tyler, Whose roof is better? I don't know if you can see that on the I'm sure you can. This roof? You got it. I'm so supportive, I love you. Or this roof. How would you do that? Mine's better. <laughs> oh, this table's gonna be on. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> you brought the walls down. <laughs> <laughs> you have a garage! <laughs> um, I don't think there's any fixing that one. Yeah, we're just gonna have to leave that, I think. Unless. I'll help you. Help me? I didn't do that. If I bring this entire gingerbread house down... <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no! 
we got so far. <laughs> At least my roof still looks pretty good. Yeah, mine too. Do we just give up? Yeah, I think we can just start decorating these just... We can just decorate all the sides and pretend it's all together. <laughs> Are we actually going to put it back together? Probably not. Well, that was super sad. Okay, well... I think that we give up. We made it halfway. We made it halfway. At least you get to judge on something. Check we... in next year. We'll have the whole thing. <laughs> Maybe. Baby steps. Close for a thumbnail. Now be sad. Okay, let's try the candy. Hmm. Well, they're pretty good. Okay, yum. Ready? Cheers. Kind of just tastes like frosting. Pretty good. Can't say we didn't try. Mm hmm. This is exactly why I don't try to do fun things. Yeah. Bad things happen when you try to have fun. Yep. Yeah. What? Ow. Alrighty. Well. Thank you for joining us on this awful adventure. Awful? It's Christmas. Okay. This cheerful, wonderful, grand old adventure. We will see you next year. Maybe literally. 2022. <laughs> <laughs> this has been fun, but this is our sign to stop trying. Oh, what time is it? Four. Why aren't we watching the Packers game? Oh, we're leaving. We're going to go watch the Packers game. We will see you. In 2022, woot woot woot. Until, Until next, next time. time. What a performance. <laughs>